Excellences, distinguished colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is a tremendous pleasure to welcome you to the World Telecommunication and Information Society 2016 celebration here in Geneva, focusing this year on ICT entrepreneurship for social impact. I'd like to extend my personal welcome to those ambassadors and representatives of missions who find time to join us this morning. And of course, I also like to extend my personal appreciation to my colleague, actually my boss, Mr. Mike Muller, Director General of the United Nations in Geneva. And I again also welcome former IT elected officials, Mr. Timofeev. I think that I saw Mr. Chipgate somewhere. Is he here or not? It's not here. But anyway, let's welcome you to join us today. Over the past decades, the ICT sector has grown to become one of the world's most successful and inspiring ecosystems. On this very special day, 17th of May, we can proudly celebrate the fact that billions of people are now connected in a smart, networked environment and are connected to new and previously unimaginable possibilities. These welcome developments make it even more urgent that we continue to pursue our goal of bringing the rest of the world's population online so that they too can access and create extraordinary social and economic benefits. Distinguished colleagues, today the ICT world is increasingly being driven by grassroots entrepreneurship, delivering local solutions to tackle local challenges. Anyone, anywhere in the world today with good connectivity and the necessary skills has the potential to create and to innovate with a global impact. Entrepreneurs and small and medium-sized enterprises, or SMEs, provide up to 70% of global employment, and we need their expertise, innovation, and investment to achieve our common goals of sustainable economic and social development. Governments around the world recognize this, and many are now actively promoting national innovation and entrepreneurship and entrepreneurial hubs with the aim of creating a vibrant startup culture. It is clear to me that it is the SMEs who extend the power of new ICT technologies and services to reach local communities everywhere in the world. To some extent, there is no possibility for any big companies to succeed if they do not have the support of SMEs. Distinguished colleagues, here at ITU, we are well positioned to promote digital entrepreneurship in collaboration with our global membership of governments, industry, civil society, and academia, as well as other international organizations and stakeholders. We work hard to ensure an enabling policy and a regulatory environment, an environment that facilitates and promotes innovation while still delivering effective mechanisms to avoid market dominance and guarantee consumer protection. We are developing international technical standards that enable anyone anywhere to produce services and equipment for a global market. And we harmonize the use of the radio spectrum to ensure interoperability and to benefit from economies of scale. At our major events, such as ITU Telecom, we bring together ministers, regulators, industry leaders, academia, innovation hubs, 
and accelerators, as well as startups and SMEs themselves. And this year, the telecom will be held from 14 to 17th of November in Bangkok, Thailand. So yesterday I was in Bangkok to sign that uh, host country agreement with the uh, Thai government. We expect it to have a very good event. Coming from both the developed and the developing world, they come to ITU to share knowledge and best practices and to build valuable new partnerships at ITU. I want to ensure that we use our experiences and the global network to support the evolving ICT ecosystem, including government-funded tech parks, university incubators, and the startup accelerators, so that SMEs in emerging economies can more easily grow and scale their business and access new market opportunities. Let me therefore take this opportunity to call upon all of our members and partners to actively promote small, smart, and innovative ICT businesses, as well as supporting the creation of all inclusive entrepreneurial ecosystems. ITU will continue to work with our membership in supporting these endeavors to achieve widespread digital social innovation and to promote ICT entrepreneurship for social impact to create a better world for all. I wish you all enjoy this special ICT day for our global family. Thank you very much for your attention.